Hey, what's up everyone? Jonathan Lerner here with JonathanLernerFitness.com and I am back with part three of the furniture slider workout series. So today we did shoulders and chest last, or shoulders and core last week, our last session, and this time we're gonna be doing a little bit more of that, shoulders, chest, and core today. Yes, shoulders, chest, and core. Don't <laughs> worry, I know where they are. I'm a trainer, I swear. So, uh, first exercise that we're gonna do is gonna be a side step push up with two sliders. So again, your hands are gonna be on the sliders. You're gonna step out with your leg and pull that arm out to the side, push up and come back. Then you're gonna step out with the other arm and leg, push up and step out. Easier option is to stay on your knees and you'll just come out here, push up, come back to the center, then go to the other side. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you get four sliders. Two are going to be for your hands, two are going to be for your feet. Here, you're going to start close together, and then when you want to start, both arms and feet are going to go out, and then you're going to squeeze them together. Feet are going to go out, squeeze them together. Here, out, really tight. And there you go. So that's exercise number one. Number two are gonna be knee tucks. A little bit similar to what I showed you last time. So again, your feet are on the middle of the sliders. Similar to what we did here, doing the pikes. You're gonna do that same knee, uh, knee tuck, except go to each elbow. So you go here, pull the knees towards that elbow, and then to the other elbow. Back and forth, switching sides and you'll really feel it in those oblique muscles, really tight. Next one are going to be chest blocks. So your hands are going to be on the sliders again. You're going to be drop down, keep the body really tight, something's going to be really tight, arms are almost straight, all the way up, really tight. So this one's really hard. There we go, and an easier version of course is going down onto your knees, and go in there. And if you need even easier, bring the knees closer, just stick your bum up in the air more, and drive it out that way. All right, and the last one of this slider series is gonna be the army crawl. So your feet are gonna be on the sliders. You're basically gonna be almost in a bridge position and you're gonna crawl your forearms across the floor. So your body's nice and tight, crawl, and again, if you got enough room, you can try and twist your body around and then crawl back. And that's it. So like I said, you can use these sliders on the carpet or on hardwood floor, concrete, whatever you have. They'll work on both. If all you have is carpet at home too, pretty much a tea towel folded up will work the exact same as well. But if you got carpet, 10 bucks for four of these from Home Depot. One of the best things you can get, super cheap. You can get a full body workout from it. This is Jonathan Lerner with JonathanLearnerFitness.com and hope you have an awesome workout. Let me know what you think.